All right, this video will go through explaining how to add an assignment on Skyward. So once you've logged in, I generally go to the EA Plus Classic view. I go to my gradebook, and I can go to my first class. So I have assignments to add for Spanish 1, which are periods 1 through 6. Once my book is open, I go right here to Add Assignments. I need to choose the category. So the category that we have right now is a homework assignment. I'm going to type in that it's Activity 4, page 152. If you wanted to put any detailed description here explaining it further, you can in this box. I'm going to check the date. Now the assigned date was the 22nd. And the proposed due date was the 22nd. And the actual due date was the 22nd as well, but because this isn't lit up at all, we don't need to put that on there. The maximum score for this assignment was five points. Now we want to make sure to click post to family access and student access so they'll be able to see it. And I'm going to add that in all my Spanish 1 courses. So as I said, Spanish 1 goes through period 6. So I will click all of those to make sure that this assignment goes in. And I just can hit save and back. Okay, once you have added your assignment in, you will come back to this screen when you save it. As you can see, this is from August, so to find the one that we just added, we need to scroll over to the right, and we can see here it is, Activity 4, page 152. In order to input grades, you're going to click on the asterisk, and you can enter the grades. Right here, you will be able to tell if the student was absent or not. So if you do not have a grade for them, or they did get a zero, you can put no count. So that won't count against them. And you can write a comment in here, absent, if you would like. Otherwise, you could put your grades in, use the down arrow to get to the next one, and type in. If you do have someone else that got a zero, but they were there that day, you want to check missing. This will show up in a child's missing assignments for Skyward, and it really helps the parents out. If you just put a zero, it kind of looks like they did it, the assignment, but they got zero out of five points. So if they just didn't turn anything in, always check missing. And you will go down the line. Once again, this person was absent also, so is this. The only difference between these codes is this child, their parent called in for them, I believe, and this one, they were still absent, but it was an unexcused absent because no one contacted us. But they still weren't at school that day, so you might want to check the box for no count. When you're done entering all of your grades, you do want to make sure that, once again, post to family access is checked, post to student access, and then you will hit save but I'm going to go ahead and undo because I don't want to enter those scores and go back. Once you've entered those grades and you would like to go on to the next class, you can simply click on classes and score the entry for the next period. Once again, when the grade book comes up, we will want to scroll all the way to the right by using the slide bar here on the bottom. Okay, that is the Activity 4, page 152. We're going to click right here in this box next to Nyla's name. And we can enter the grades here. See, here's a student that wasn't there that day, so I will check the no count. And just remember, if they did get a zero because they didn't turn it in, you do want to click missing and always double check that these both are checked and you would hit save and you would go through each one of your classes that way. I'm going to review one more time with your Spanish 2 class on how to add the assignment. 
So I simply, it doesn't matter which um, class I'm on, but I'll go ahead and just go to the Spanish 2 class, 7th period, in gradebook. I'm going to go Assignment, Add Assignment. It is a homework assignment. The description is irregular Pret, and it was page 142. If you wanted to put further detailed description, you could down here. The date that it was signed was January 22nd, and it was due on January 23rd. And I do want to post it, so I make sure these are checked, to family and to student. And the only class I wanted in is my seventh period, because that's Spanish too, so that's the only one checked. So I will hit Save and Back. I will scroll all the way to the right to find the assignment, and I can hover to make sure. Yep, it's correct. So when I go to score it, I just click on the first box, and I'm able to put the scores in. And in this class, no one was absent that day. Make sure that those are checked. If you did insert a zero because a child did not turn it in at all, don't forget to click the missing column and feel free to put comments if you'd like and hit save. And that is how you add assignments in Skyward. Okay, so I noticed as I watched the tape back that I made a couple mistakes. So I do want to go to my first period class. I'm going to go back to that assignment and what I need to do is I noticed I put in that it was due on the 22nd as well as that's the day I assigned it. So if you ever need to go back and change anything, just click on the box with the assignment and hit edit. And I had originally put it was assigned on the 22nd and due on the 22nd. So now I had to change this one to the 23rd. And now the actual due date I have to change to to the 23rd. So now it looks correct. I double check all my parts. I've put the right category, the description, my dates are now correct, and I have to make sure they're all three correct. And I did put how many points it was worth, clicked both post to family access, post to student access, and it's for these periods. And I can hit save. I noticed when watching the video back that I forgot to put in um, how many points the Spanish 2 assignment was. So I'm going to go back and just so you know then I just corrected that for all the classes um, that I had that assignment in so I don't have to do them individually but I do have that Spanish 2 class so I'm going to go to Spanish 2 which is 7th period and I will scroll over to that assignment and click in the actual top box so I can edit it. Now, during the video, I did not change the points, so it actually said 100 points. So what I would do would hit Edit. I double check everything. Category, Homework, correct. Description, I wrote that correctly. Assigned date was the 22nd. It was due on the 22nd, and the actual due date was the 22nd. And here I had forgot to put 18 and it's automatically defaulted to be 100 points. So if you do forget, this is how you can come back and change it. So I'll change it to 18. Make sure I've checked these boxes and that this assignment's only going to my seventh period and then hit save. So just in case you do need to make corrections, I haven't added assignments um, all school year, so I made a couple mistakes myself. And that's how you do it, just by clicking in the actual box. And then once again, when you want to enter the assignment, you click down here, and you will be able to enter assignments. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions.